Warning. Serious injury can result from experimentation with HHO or Brown's gas. Children should not attempt anything shown on this channel without close adult supervision. Even some big kids. Please, play it safe. Okay, to assemble this first plate, I am going to put a bead of adhesive all the way around the inside along the along the edge set the plate on top of it let it squeeze out and then put another bead around it and put the next ring in there you get a look at how I've created the bead Now I have cleaned this off with alcohol very thoroughly, so I'm going to be careful not to touch it as I insert it. Just lower it down into place slowly. Set it into the goop. Make sure that my bar is vertical. There you can see the metal bar that will become the positive terminal. And you can see how the plate has set up inside there. Now I'm definitely going to have to leave my 12 gauge pieces of wire shoved into place and allow them to stay there so that I can yank them out later. Once again. Make sure I've got enough of a bead going all the way around. And now I take my next spacer ring. Inside the opening, rock it until it goes straight, and then just slide it right down to the plate. What you will notice is that some of the adhesive has squeezed out from underneath the edge of the C ring onto the surface area of the plate and it has decreased the surface area of the plate ever so slightly. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wait a little bit and allow it to dry, go around that edge with an X-Acto knife and trim off the excess. My next bead will probably be a little bit smaller because I don't want quite that much squeezing out. All right. Um, as I assembled this together and looked inside, I'm looking at how the channel passes underneath this plate or underneath the C-ring. And I realized... When I stick my next disc on top of that, I've created a perfectly trapped airspace. I still don't have a way for the gas to exit at the top 
into the channel or for the electrolyte to enter at the bottom in between the plates. So what I did was took one of my C rings and I cut a notch with my Dremel tool so that where they meet creates an opening down to the channel and at the top I drilled a small hole that I marked with a sharpie after inserting it into the tube and and locating exactly where it needs to be and then drilling a hole in the top so that when I assemble this inside the three inch pipe the gas will have some place to escape in between into the channel that joins the uh, the chambers together between the plates unfortunately it means I do have to pull this one back out again and start over you know the thought occurred to me as I was working with this sealant adhesive it's taking an awfully long time to get tacky so I took another look at the packaging and what does it say cures in seven days. If you read the fine print back here, it says that it's tack-free in 48 hours. 